morning, sailors. It's another episode of Sailing Muse. Today's a great day because I've got quantum sails coming out from Seabrook, and they're going to take the sails down, uh, inspect them, repair them, fix them up, and make them make them good again. I'm probably going to go ahead and get measurements while they're out just to make sure I've got uh, got those measurements and hopefully have uh, backups down the road, down the road. So we're going to get them ru running again so that we can. Uh, Get back out in the water, man. It's 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 so overdue. I'm so ready to go. So, anyway, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update. What's going on? I've been back in Kima since last Tuesday. I had to motor back down the ship channel. It was just a crappy day. Talk about the walk of shame for the second time going down my my pier uh, pier dock here, and everybody's like, "Oh, I thought you were out in the ocean. I thought you were going to Key West. I thought you were going to the Bahamas." I'm like, if I had a dollar for every time I heard that. I'd be a millionaire right now. Yeah, it sucks, but I'm realizing more and more it's just it's just part of sailing, you know. It's part of uh, part of dealing with weather, wind, boats. They like to break down all the time. <laughs> anyway, so today is the day they come out and inspect uh, my sails. I need some uh, some restitching on the main sail, kind of up at the top up there. It's kind of coming loose a little bit. You can see. And of course we have the, the original issue, uh, my Genoa clue uh, that came came loose. Basically it ripped ripped at the corner there. There's you've got uh, straps that are sewn in to the clue in the corner that uh, attach to this ring right here and uh, give you your controls for your Genoa. So um, they're going to take them down today look at them inspect them take them in the shop give me an evaluation on them and see uh, see if they're repairable most likely they are so uh, that's good news and it sounds like a really quick turnaround too so I'm really excited about that so I can uh, get back out there I've addressed uh, my electrical issues I had uh, uh, my fault I left some uh, contacts open on the uh, old fuel gauge now that it's a uh, electronic fuel gauge uh, the, the manual fuel gauge, uh, the, the wires were touching on the inside of the helm on metal, of course. So I was getting shocked. And so that's fixed. And then I had a fuel leak also uh, from overfilling and the old uh, fuel cap down there. It just didn't have a really good seal on it. So I went back and readdressed it, put some, uh, some fuel resistant gasket, uh, uh, gasket goo on it. So, um, it was a beautiful day today. Had my coffee, had my breakfast. Um, it's uh, it's just another day at uh, here on Muse, and we're excited to get back on the water. I uh, hope everyone's doing great out there. Thanks for all your support. God bless. You see, uh, you see the? Uh, it looks like it's still coiling properly down below, right? There it is, yeah, that's where it is. process of dropping the Genoa down uh, I remember last time I had the guys checking out my rigs the guys out here at the company called sticks and riggings they uh, they told me about the little plastic shim that goes down and around in here and while I was on hooking this shackle from uh, the leech loop um, yeah I noticed that there was little pieces of plastic up here and then I went to move this and that whole shim dropped down in there so uh, I'm in the process of trying to locate one of those and I'm gonna have to have these guys come and take this whole whole uh, system down you know, just to get this little shim in here unfortunately they make them in like a plastic uh, on this uh, Schaefer Schaefer 1000 and uh, 
seems to be a, a common problem. So we're gonna make sure that's in working order before we get out of here as well. Only problem is it tends to delay things. You know what I mean? Damn it. Hey, so good news is uh, music sales are in really good condition from what I understand from the uh, sale repair guys, Quantum Sales out of Seabrook, Texas. Uh, they said everything looks really good, just needs to be beefed up a little bit. I do believe that there's going to be a real quick turnaround and uh, sales will be that much better. We're just going to redo all the loops at the end, what they call the webbing, and get those all secured and strong and ready for some good some good sailing. Um, uh, I've also got the parts ordered for the uh, head spindle. Uh, the problem is that I'm going to have to kind of wait for these guys to come out and take the uh, the uh, Genoa furling apart and uh, put this on. So they're a little behind, like most uh, boaters and boat companies right now. Lots of delay delays and uh, um, takes a little time. So unfortunately, I'm probably going to be out for another two to three weeks, hopefully sooner. Um, really excited to get back out in the water and have some more adventures out on Muse. Check out this shirt. Can you tell I'm a rocker? <laughs> uh, anyways, we sure appreciate you checking in with us and watching our videos. Um, we look forward to meeting and saying hello to a lot of our fellow sailors out there and seeing you out in the great blue water somewhere. Cheers, everybody. Go Muse. Go Mouse.